Greetings, uh, brethren. This is Emmanuel Fernandez with the Biblical Science, my YouTube ministry. Uh, today, the Lord put it on my heart to talk about uh, uh, sin, sin in general. Uh, if you saw my previous videos, I said I was asking the question, "What really killed Jesus?" Why well, it's the Romans? Well, yes, they did kill him. They they're the ones that physically did the deed. Some people say it's the Jews, the Pharisees. Well, yes, they're the one that gave him the order. Because remember, Pilate didn't want to crucify him. He said, give him a scourging and let him go. I see no fault in this man. And they said, you better do this or, or you have to answer to Caesar. We have no king but Caesar. Same as it is today with Israel and the Jewish government. The Jewish government works for the Pope. They have no king but Caesar. They serve the Pope. Same as before, it's the same as today. So... You're all right, but the source. This is why you don't go by works when you think you're. St you don't. It's not always to go by works when you wanna tell if you're saved or if a person's saved because works are evidence and not the source. Big difference. Sources, ev source, and evidence are two distinct, different words. What do you mean? Okay. Jews did kill him and the Romans, but they're the evidence. Evidence of what? of sin. Sin killed Jesus. It's the source. Remember I told you before you have a spirit in you. Spirit of the Antichrist, the devil, or spirit of God, the Holy Ghost. Which one do you think they had? Spirit of the Antichrist. Okay? So don't confuse source and evidence. No, you, the, the Bible says it. Remember, the God chooses his words wisely, more than I can ever, ever can. He said evidence. As with faith is evidenced by good works, not the source. So don't confuse again semantics. How the devil likes to take words, make different meaning for it, which I'll get into next. Mix the words. Source and evidence are the same. You know, Christians and Catholics, they're the same thing to me. Jesus Christ of the Allah of Muslim and Jesus Christ of Rome, which are different. Jesus Christ, they're both the same. The devil likes to mix. We are taught to divide the word of truth, separation, doctrine of separation. They don't mean the same thing. So source and evidence do not mean the same thing. So after reading Proverbs, the whole book of Proverbs, uh, you know what Proverbs is about? Meekness. I know it's about a lot of things, but what the what I got mostly it's about meekness, instructing, and hearing people of instruction. Blessed who that heareth instruction, for he is wise. The Bible says, my sheep will hear my voice because I, I was struggling with God. I said, I don't think they'll understand what I'm saying, God. Do it, my son. The the ones that are of my sheep will hear my voice. So, like I said, I don't, it's not my will, Father. Your will be done. So, sin killed Jesus. Okay? So, when anyone tells you who killed Jesus, Romans, right. The Jews, right. The Pharisees, because they gave the order. The Romans executed it. No. If you want to get specific, you're both wrong. Sin killed them. They were driven by sin, the spirit of sin. They were driven by the spirit of Antichrist. Where are you going with this? Hold on. Uh, remember I told you, God chooses his words wisely. God is love. So when he uses the word hate, it should ring some bells. Aren't we told to hate sin? Not just like, okay, just avoid it, dislike sin. Hate sin. Of course, you should hate sin. Well, first of all, what hate? What does what does the word hate mean? I thought I know what it means. No, you don't know what it means. It's abomination to God. That's that's what it means to me. Everybody can have different definition, but that to be in lines with me, what I'm saying. Abomination. Abomination is like it's the worst of the worst. There are sins that anger God more than other sins. You know what the top two are? Well, let's go at Ten Commandments. What is the first one? Idolatry. Thou shalt have no other gods before me, for I am a jealous God. Do not use my name in vain. Right there, those two sins he hates the most. Say, didn't they mock Jesus and wasn't there adultery everywhere? Yes. Get the picture? Don't tell me God hates every sin the same. There's some sins that boil. Well, Jesus Christ is a man. He doesn't, he's not have, he doesn't have blood, but gets him really angry. Don't tell me. Yeah, go ahead and fornicate. You're hurting yourself. Go ahead and lie. 
He who fornicates sin against his own soul. You're hurting yourself. Go ahead. Yeah, you, you, you're, it's a sin against God, but indirect, directly, you're hurting yourself. It's indirectly hurting God. You're not hurting God. Indirectly, you're sinning God. But directly, you're hurting yourself. Adultery, oh, in name in vain, that's the direct sin to God. And what did they do to Jesus Christ? Well, they mocked him. Spitting in his face. Yeah, they brutalized and tortured him, but they mocked him. Here's the king of the Jews put a a, a, a cape of a purple scarlet, clothed him. Here's the spit in his face, so much spit in his face, it's probably covered. They mocked him. Be not mocked. God is not mocked. Forever sh you sow that he shall also reap. Mocking God. Mocking God. That is a serious offense to him. Idolatry. Romans, Jesus was alive in the Roman Empire. Idolatry. Mars, Gen what do we think our, num our months are named after and our planets? They're all Roman gods. Idolatry. January, Janus, Mars, March, uh, Saturn. We're pagans. Same as it is before it is now. Pagan, polytheism. That angers God to the core. You and since your will and His will should be, will never be the same, but should be up there. You hate what He hates. Jesus Christ is God, so of course He knows what His Father hates, because He's Him, and me and the Father are one. So where are you getting at? Well, I tell you what I'm getting at. Have you, have you ever asked yourself this question? Then I tell you the question and everything. <clears throat> Why can't, since God is love, which he is, why can't he, why do I have to accept Jesus? Why do I have to endorse that check that he gave to me written in blood, his blood, for infinite righteousness? Why can't he, why can't I just be saved, like, automatically? Like, okay, he died for, for my sins, okay. I'm born, I'm saved, I don't have to accept him. Does it? Do you understand what I mean by that? Like, why do I have to accept Jesus Christ into my heart? Why does I have to give Jesus my heart? Why can't I just be saved by default automatically? Because by default, where, by default, when you sin, your 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 spiritual father is the devil, and the lust of your father you will do, just like the Romans and the Pharisees did. They were spiritual bastards, so they did the will of their father, the devil. So why why can't by default? Why can't I just you know uh, be of God? Well. Let's go back again. <clears throat> what killed Jesus? Sin. What did the Bible say about Adam sinning? For when Adam sinned, we all sinned. I think I know what you're getting at. No, I don't think you do. Remember I told you scientifically, you're the universe. You're not God. You're God-like. What is the Godhead? It's three distinct beings as one. And it likes to be in three distinct beings so they can fellowship with each other. Separate but equal. Well, that's what the human, not the human race, mankind is. Seven billion people in the planet. But aren't we out of one blood? Aren't we all Adam? I, aren't son of Adam? Sins of the father? So when he sinned, we sinned? What you get in that? Just say it. Okay, but I don't think you understand it. You killed Jesus Christ. Yeah, I said it. Remember I told you, Malcolm X, that movie, when those kids are standing up at the end, saying, I'm Malcolm X. I am Malcolm X. Well, they just said a scientific statement. A literal scientific statement. Okay? We're all of one blood. Seven billion people. God sees us as seven billion people, separate but equal. But he sees us all as one blood. All of us of uh, Adam. We all sinned. So what you're saying is uh, God blames man for killing his son? Yes. That includes you and me. But but I'm not Romans and Jews kill him. I'm black. I'm not Italian or, or Jewish. It doesn't matter. Aren't, they, aren't you related by blood? Oh, oh yeah. Aren't, aren't the, their sin is the spirit of the Antichrist like you are if you're unsaved? Oh, yes. Well, then you killed him. I'm Pilate, in a way. The, those who hear my voice know what I'm talking about. I'm Pilate. I'm the one that condemned them to death. I'm Caiaphas. I'm the one that put them on trial and put them on arrest. I'm the Roman soldiers. 
So you're saying I killed Jesus? You had better believe it. People are related to remember, mankind's all of one blood. For Adam sin, we all sin. That's right. Sin killed them. And if if your 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 father is a devil, if you're unsaved, people like you killed his son. That's why you need to accept him. God holds you responsible. He had he gave his only begotten son to become the thing that killed him. Christ didn't just die for you. Christ died because of you. Is it sinking in now? Mar Let that marinate. Let me pause. I don't want to sound proud, but I just want to get that point across. I don't hear no one saying this. So you're saying Christ not only died for me, he died because of me. Yes. Why? People like me of the devil is the one that killed him. Pharisees and the Romans weren't, weren't saved. Some became saved after they knew who he was, but mostly they weren't saved, and they're burning in hell right now, forever. They're self-righteous, and the spirit is of Antichrist. Father is the devil, and the lust of your father will do. And what's the lust of the father? To kill God and hate God, and that's what they did. They killed God. They hated him. But they're no different than you are. Well, that's way back in the day, in the past. Well, I told you there's no such thing as time. Time is relative. There's really no past and future. So in God, remember, God views his past and future, present, at the same time. In God's eyes, if you're unsaved, you might as well be a Pharisee of today. You might as well be Pilate of today. To God, it does not matter. I'm saying, I'm talking about from the perspective of God, he sees you as Pilate. From the perspective of God, he sees you as Caiaphas. From the perspective of God, he sees you as nailing his son to the cross. Spitting at him. Putting the crown of thorns at him. That's why you need to accept him. Is it making sense? Mostly it won't. To people it won't. But yeah. That hit me yesterday. That's why I fell down and cried in tears like a baby. I was crying in tears again. Oh, you got saved again? No, no. This evidence of my salvation. He pricked my heart to say, Son, man, do you know really, really why he died? He died not for you. He died because of you. And I felt a sorrow. Pricked my heart. No, I wasn't saved. I was already saved. That's evidence of my salvation. Yeah. Is it sinking in? And that was after reading Proverbs. Proverbs is all about he who heareth instruction. So am I wrong? Right or wrong? I let that's for you and God to decide. Pray about this. He didn't die just for you. He died because of you. The reason Jesus Christ came into existence is because of sin. If Adam never bit the apple, oh, by the way, there's one people don't know you. You know, if Adam, Adam never bit of the apple, Eve bit of the apple. If Adam never bit of the apple, man will never fail. He fell because he listened to his wife. So you mean uh, the fall of man was because a, a, a man listened to a woman? That's right. He didn't accept the chain of command. He let his wife be the head instead of him. Because Eve is of Adam, not, not of man. man. Woman comes from a man. So... If Eve ate that apple and said, hey, Adam, eat, no way. God would have destroyed her and make him another wife. Okay, no problem. You break off another rib. See how feminism is a sin? All these women telling men what to do? Well, well, men, if you have a, a wife that tells you what to do, just think about this. It's because of women like her. Not because of women like her. It's because of men like me. Letting her take the lead is the reason the fall of man happened. Well, yeah, go ahead, eat, eat the apple. Oh, you want me to eat it? Okay. Yes, sir, ma'am. I'm not the boss. Eve, you're the boss. You you tell me what to do. Okay? Let's break the chain of command. Okay? The woman's ahead of the church, not the man. Uh, you didn't. We fell. She, Adam did not obey the chain of command. Chain of command is the reason man fell. But that's just a little nugget there. I already talked about chain of command. This is about why I have to accept Jesus. Well, you killed him. People like you killed him. What about people that are saved? No, you're not not escape. We're taught to hate sin. A saved person, every time when he sins, that's another nail. That's it. you spitting on the salvation, spitting on the sacrifice. Every time you sin, in God's eye, that's like another nail in His hand. You fornicate with that woman, another crown of thorns. Is Jesus Christ? You mean Jesus Christ like reliving it? I don't know. If Jesus Christ actually relives it. But he's not like looking down at heaven. Oh, let me look at that safe person sitting. Oh, that feels so good. No. You're making him relive it. Is it sinking in? 
If I'm Jesus Christ, hypothetically speaking, and I'm looking down, I see you fornicating. Ah, oh, he's making me remind of the, the pain. You ever went through a painful thing in your life, like a root canal? What makes you relive it? Well, seeing someone going through a root canal. Or better yet, if I'm in an accident, brutal car accident, which I was, by the way. You know, I got an accident, bickering with my girlfriend, a woman. So when I see that, women taking lead and men being coming to feminine, and I'm driving, I'm looking at that. But I know what you're going through. But careful, don't let a woman take charge. You end up in a car accident. Or better yet, I'm the reason, this doesn't really happen, but I'm the reason my friend got in a car accident because of my drunkenness. I, because he saw me drunk, oh, let me drink too. And he got drunk. What, what do you think I'm going to do when I see someone else drinking while driving? Oh, I remember that. It's because of me and my friend got in an accident. Is it sinking in? Yes, I do believe that happens with Jesus Christ. Every time you sin, this is for saved people, you're making them relive it. Every time you lie, Jesus Christ in his head. Remember, he's just like you and me. He's a man. He's reliving him walking, carrying the cross again. Kicked on. Fell. Every time you you fornicate, that's him getting nailed again. You're making him relive it. The worse the sin, the painful it gets. So if you mock God in idolatry with December 25th, remember we're all sun worshippers. I don't care if you know or not, doesn't matter, ignorance or not. Ignorance is sin. And you mock God with idolatry, which all these religions are, by the way, idolatry. And you use his name in vain. GDs, JCs everywhere. You're making his son relive his brutal torture all over again. You're making him relive it. Think of the worst painful thought you ever had in your life. What makes you relive it? Well, if I see it again, if I see someone doing the same thing. Now imagine you're Jesus Christ and someone's lying or sinning. He's going to relive it. Is this sinking in? This is the most simplistic way. I told God, make this simple for people to understand. This is the simplest way I can tell it. There's 17 minutes now. You killed him. I remember watching 24. Here's a good example. This is what she said. It's season 7 or 24. There we go again, watching TV, being of the world. No, I'm making a point here. Edification. The sermon. Uh, her, how is it? Her sister was was taught to be like uh, girlfriends with uh, this terrorist. And Jack said, "Okay, I want you to be, you know, my asset. Here, let me put a wire on you, so we can know where he is. So get in the truck and be picked up by his guy." And and the, the, her sister said, "You take care of my. You take care of my sister now." Okay, because she didn't want to, she wants to do this, but I don't want her to do this. This is dangerous. B becoming bait for this terrorist because their girlfriend, the, her sister's is girlfriend to the terrorist. Because if he knows what she's doing, he'll kill her on sight. And, and, and the FBI agent said, I promise. This is season 7 of 24. Okay, I promise. So what happens? She just ends up in an accident. And she's trying to pull her from the truck. Jack's saying, let her go, let her go. She pulls a gun on Jack. I promised her. I will not let her die. You will either help me, I'll shoot you. She helped her out. She ended up dying. So she goes to the hospital, tells to the to the other sister, I'm sorry. She ended up dying. I didn't I didn't uphold my promise. You gonna give me uh, her belongings? You think this is gonna make you feel better? No. The terrorist didn't kill her. You killed her. Is it sinking in? That's what she said, not me. Watch. I don't know which episode of it is of 24, but that's what she said. You killed my, my sister. Not, not the terrorist, not the car accident. You killed her. You killed Jesus. You killed my son. And if you're saved, you sin, you're making him relive it. This is why you hate sin. You're supposed to hate sin. So, yeah, it's only 19 minutes. I thought this would take forever. But no, God is simple. Mankind makes it difficult. Bible, simple book. We dumb down. We don't know what words mean. So if you, if I can dumb you down good enough, I can make a Dr. Seuss book look like a calculus book. If I can dumb you good, how? Through TV, through other people, through medicine, through food. 
Who's dumbing down? The devil dumbing you down. If I dumb you down enough, I can make a simple book like the Bible look like a calculus problem. I used to read the Bible and, wow, this is a complicated book. Well, of course, I'm dumbed down. This is trigonometry right here. This is a complicated book. It's like physics. Oh, no, it's a Dr. Seuss book. Now, I'm not belittling it. It's easy to read. That's what I'm trying to say. That's like a children's book. It's easy to read. So I'm not dumbed down like I was before. The more the Bible is easy to read, the more that you're not of the world. You get in the way. Oh, the Bible. Do I understand everything? No, I'm not Jesus. Yeshua HaMashiach. It's like I said, yeah, you can call him Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, but I'm not calling him Jesus Christ. Don't tell me what to call him in front of a, an unsaved Jew because that brings nightmares in his head. Don't call him. What, you, you Using the word Jesus Christ? Well, that's the Jesus Christ that punished me when the Muslims killed my people. That's the Jesus Christ they used when the Romans came and killed me in the Crusades. Don't use Jesus Christ. No, when I speak to unsaved Jew, I use Yeshua HaMashiach. Remember, this, remember how the devil likes to make assign meanings to a word? Which Jesus Christ are you talking to? We all believe in the same Jesus, really. Are you talking about the Christ consciousness in your head? That Oprah Winfrey has? Which Jesus Christ are you talking about? There's a lot of Jesus Christ. <laughs> are you talking about the Christ consciousness in your head? That Jesus Christ? No. What about the Jesus in the Quran? He's Jesus too. There's a name Jesus. He's a prophet. But he's not God. That's what they say. No. What about Jesus Christ of Rome? Talking about that Jesus? That you can go to heaven through him and through Mary? No. What Jesus Christ are you talking about? The King James Bible? Well, why don't you say Yeshua HaMashiach? Because he's a Jew. And why don't you say that? Be specific. King James Bible, Jesus. I got to say that now. The devil takes a word and applies a lot of meaning to it. Gay used to be happy. Now it means homosexual. Homosexual never existed. That word never existed. I call him Sodomite. I call him what the Bible says. Sodomite. Oh, she's a prostitute. No. Bible called, what does the Bible call a prostitute? A whore. Oh, he has no father. Well, that's good, but I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna follow the King James Bible terminology. My Bible app is in here. That's why I keep pointing to my phone. What does the Bible call a prostitute? Or a son without a father? A bastard. This is too harsh. This is hate speech. Yeah, it is hate speech. That's why I might get killed for it. The opposite of Bible terminology is political correctness. No, they're not rich. They're job creators. It's not innocent people dead in a war. They're collateral damage. No, it's not waterboarding. It's advanced inter interrogation. No, we didn't kidnap them. It's rendition. <laughs> Can I keep going? No, it's not It's not the ghettos or poor people. It's low-income housing. Collateral cor correctness equals apathy. Lack of feeling. No. Be careful of the words you use. You you need to talk. I'm not saying the thou don't use those words. Use some sermon. What does the Bible call gay people? What does the Bible call prostitutes? What does the Bible call someone that's unsaved? A spiritual bastard. Because the father is the devil. The less lust of the father you'll do. Careful of the words you use. Saved and unsaved people. Saved people, you know better. You use the Bible terminology. That's why I don't say human being. I say man. A woman is a part of man. She came from the womb, Adam's rib, womb of a man. Womb, womb man, woman. Drop the beat. Okay, I, I use the Bible terminology, what the Bible says. It, oh, I'm not of the world. I live in the world. Really? Watch your words. What do you call a sodomite? Oh, I call him gay. Then you're still of the world. Saved or not saved. Watch the words you're speaking. And if you know what I'm talking about, then you know you killed Jesus. Let me get back to that. That's my main point. Who killed him? I killed him. If God sees man, 7 billion people on this planet, and I don't know how many people lived on this planet, 40 billion, as one man, just like he sees himself as one God, even though he's three distinct people, well, then we all killed Jesus. I'm Pilate. I'm the one that crucified him. I'm Caiaphas. And I, I'm saved right now. So when I sin, I'm making his son relive it again. Well, when you put in that mindset, it makes me hate sin. It makes me don't want to sin no more because I'm making my Savior relive his uh, crucifixion. That's right. They're, my sheep will hear my voice. Is it sinking in? Is it Let it marinate. Method Man used to say that when I, back in the day when I used to worship rap. There's a reason. <laughs> There's a reason God wants me to listen to this particular song. He said, let it marinate. Let it marinate. What do you mean by that? Let it simmer in what I'm saying to you. He's saying, I killed Jesus. Sin killed Jesus. Well, I'm unsafe, so 
God sees me as a no different than a Roman and a Pharisee. Kill the son. Well, I'm saved. Well, still, if I sin, I'm making him relive it. And if I, uh, if I directly sin, what do you mean directly sin? Directly sin means mocking him or using his name in vain. You're making him relive the painful parts of his crucifixion. Him getting nailed to the cross. His father forsaking him. People say he was naked. I think he was. Remember, God, God. Ain't that the best way to mock someone? Crucify him naked? Yeah, I think he was naked. Jenna Taylor everywhere. I feel ashamed when uh, people make fun of me in public. Well, how do you feel getting crucified across naked? How do you feel like that? Naked. They said they gave him water. No, they gave him vinegar. How do you like that? You like that? He said, I thirst. Remember, he's a man just like you and me. No, nah, Jesus will not give you water. We'll give you vinegar. Every time you sin, he relives it if you're saved. Every time you don't sin, that's a degree in the lake of fire. That's you angering his father because you're no different to him in his eyes than the Pharisees that killed him and the Romans that killed him. You killed Jesus. I'm going to title this video, Man Killed Jesus. Sin Killed Him. Wow. I never thought of it like that. Of course you did. As a man thinketh in his heart, short shall he be. You think about sin. You think twice about touching that woman. You think a billion times over about touching that woman, or lying, or fornicating. But what's the two things that really abhor? Get boils God's, gets some really angry. Two things: mocking him. They mock Jesus, and idolatry, saying Jesus is of the devil, and let's worship our own gods. And we're God. We're self-righteous. If you're self-righteous, you're your own god. Better hope you're saved when you do those two things. And to save people, he will chase you severely, severely when you have idols. Idols is any... Let me say, what is idolatry? Well, again, there's a lot of definitions of idolatry. People think it's graven image. Crosses. Well, cross is a Christian symbol. It says in the Bible in Acts, thou art not to have no graven image of the Godhead. Is it a cross of Christ? Is any part of the Godhead? Think, okay, go ahead, make crosses. Crosses is a Christian symbol. Go ahead. What well, says in Acts, I know better. But idolatry is person, place, thing, act activity. Well, that covers everything. Yes, it does. Anything you hold that above God. I used to love to travel. That's idolatry. I put that above God. So I was idol worship. I used to worship sex. That's idolatry. Even I'm not saying forking. Even in my thought. It plays in my thought. It doesn't matter. That's idolatry. You see how it's impossible to go to heaven without Christ? Idolatry is worshiping. What is worship? Well, what do you think about most of the time? Oh, I, used, I think about football. That's your idol most of the time. I think about sex. That's your idol. I think about playing ball. That's your idol. What, what do you think about most of the time? Think about jogging. That's your idol. Thou shalt have no idols before me. Is it sinking in? Marinating? Thou shalt not mock that God. GD used to be a swear just like the F word. Not anymore. It's in everywhere. It's in Disney movies. <laughs> GDs everywhere. George Bush said Constitution was a GD piece of paper. Be not mock God is not mocked. That's why he says he will laugh. Oh, God laugh at us? Oh, yeah. You mocking him at your judgment? He's going to laugh at you. I will laugh at your calamity. You think God... Okay, wait a minute. If I'm um, almighty, all-knowing and everywhere, then you can't hurt me. Physically, you can do every sin in the book. You're sinning yourself. Go ahead and fornicate. You're sinning against yourself. But there's one thing that can fry me and get my attention. Remember, I'm all powerful. There's nothing you can do to me. You're going to mock me, though? Really? You're going to mock me, say my name in vain? You're going to have more idols than me? I'm going to laugh at you. It says in the book of Proverbs. Oh, that's Old Testament, God. Okay, sure, sure. I will laugh at your cal calamity. When the 70th week of Daniel happens and his world has gone to hell towards the Antichrist, God's going to sit in heaven and laugh. Well, that's cruel. He's not laughing at his body of Christ. We're out of here in the blessed hope. We're, with the, we're laughing along with him. <laughs> no. Yeah, look, God is going to laugh. And I'm going right, to be right there laughing at him. Oh, look at those guys worshiping the false Christ. Yeah, I'm going to laugh. It's all good, though, because the tribulation saints are going to get saved in the rapture. Who endures to the end shall be saved. That's what he applies to. 
Praise God. He didn't take the mark. Of, I'm God. I'm looking down at the 70 week of Daniel. Praise God. That man didn't take the mark of the beast. He's saved. I gave him faith and repentance. He's saved. He's up here with me. Now he's laughing down at the people who accept the mark, like Joe Osteen and those other wicked sinners. They're not saved. You accept the mark, you're not saved. You incur my wrath and my laughter. I will laugh at your calamity. So, the power of God. I thought this would be an hour trying to explain. You know, you know the the uh, how you can spot a liar is if he talks too much, too much information. That's how you can spot a liar. And if he repeats himself, like chain of command, chain of command, chain of command, like I was doing in my videos. I'm not doing it now because I'm yield to the Holy Ghost. This is 30 minutes long. I thought this is gonna be an hour. You see me repeating chain of command, chain. Because it's God. God is using me to speak to you. Just like he used it, used Peter to write the Bible. Just like he used a Paul to write his epistles. So I'll stop here. I don't need to keep blabbering on. I end with this. You killed Jesus. So you better hope you're saved. And if you're saved, you sin, you're making him relive it. That's why we're told to hate sin. Hate! We don't know what hate means. You act, oh, I know what hate means. No, you don't. Not like God does. Here, here's what I mean by hate. Okay, you you got a firstborn. Your mother, you got a firstborn baby. How you like if I take that baby and throw it in the fire? Kill it. How like how, how you like if I cut its throat? Won't you hate me? That's the type of hate. Is am I getting your blood boiling? No, let's go on. Um My mother adores me. I think sometimes she just obsesses over me because I'm her firstborn, which is sin, by the way, but she adores me. What if someone comes in and slashes my throat? Don't you think she'll do anything to do to kill him? You think she'll like that? Oh, my my firstborn's dead. It's okay. Yeah, I'm a little angry about it. No. She hates. She'll hate you. Anybody who kills me. Is it sinking in? My goddaughter. I have a picture of her saying her, her name's Sienna. She's my first goddaughter. I... I see a goddaughter as just my daughter. Because she's me anyways, right? <laughs> Praise God. People say you don't have no daughter. Yes, I do. But she's your niece. No, she's my goddaughter. She's my daughter. How do you think I feel if anyone touched her? Well, you do anything to do to... You'll probably kill... If someone kills my daughter, God, I'll probably kill him. Yes. Is it... That's the hate I'm talking about. We don't learn to hate things. Not God. Learn this the right God. Learn to hate the devil. Learn to hate sin, yes, and his demons. Don't hate the sinner, hate the sin. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Do you really know what hate is? I don't think you know what hate is. If you do, you won't be sinning. If you know what hate is, you get saved. You don't know what hate is. Because you killed his son. Oh, I'm saved. Well, you're making him relive it. So let me stop there. Let me stop babbling. God's telling me, okay, son, that's a wrap. <laughs> so stop it. That's a wrap. I'll end it with this. When I come in, I come in peace. But when I speak, it's meant for war. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthen me. Peace. I end with this. Get saved or incur God's wrath. Stop sinning. I know you're going to sin. God knows you're depraved. But hate sin. That's what I should be saying. Hate sin because you're making him relive, his son relive his crucifixion and all the pain and torture he went through. Peace.